Hello everybody and welcome to a quick video about my way of interpreting the new SpaceX interplanetary system. Yeah, I know I'm late to the party, a lot of other guys already done that kind of thing, but mine is prettier. Yeah. Okay, so we're already getting the spaceship into orbit around Kerbin. There we go, we're boosting towards well, circularization. So I'm choosing the capsule with the big 16-man uh, thingy. And yeah, I tried also to make the booster reusable. You can see that attempt here. And after it gets down into the lower parts of the atmosphere, it's viable to turn off the well, the boosters on the outside of the tank, so only one booster is firing. We're not landing here, we're just kind of trying to water it, but I'm really bad at this kind of thing, so... Yeah, it kind of messes up, but it is possible. Okay, so in the concept that Elon Musk presented in a, a bit bizarre press conference, at least the Q&A session, if you've seen it, was really weird. There was the concept that you bring the spaceship to orbit, then bring a tanker to orbit, refuel the spaceship that has already spent about, well, maybe half its fuel or something like that, and then you refill it. So we're going to have to do a rendezvous. There we go. I am building this, or I have built this, in Kerbal Space Program 1.2, so no mod is available, so there are no visual enhancements, and there is no Kerbal Engineer available, there is no Docking Point Alignment Indicator available, and I built all this by... well, by playing it by ear, so to speak. So this is just me and my huge experience of Kerbal Space Program. And yeah, we have already refueled and we're getting the tanker back to the surface. You can see the air brakes extended and I'm spinning it around to keep parts out of the heat stream. And we're not landing at the KC, but we're landing successfully. I said it before, I'm really bad at this kind of pinpoint landing at Kerbin. Okay, now that we have refueled, we can spend that fuel to get our encounter with Duna. There we go. And... For the trip we need power, and for power we have our solar sails. There you go. Okay, and once at Duna, of course, we're using its atmosphere to slow down. Which is very nice of Duna to let us do that. And, well, Musk said in the press conference that he's not so much worried about radiation during the trip to Mars. I... well... If I were you and he would put you on that spaceship, I would be concerned. Because it is very much a concern during uh, the development of, for instance, of the Orion capsule. And I think you should really think about that stuff before you say, oh, it's not a problem. Okay, and we have landed successfully on Duna. There we go. Perfect. So this is actually the first attempt of designing this thing. So I'm actually very happy that it worked out that way. And Jab is to look at him smile. Yay! So this is my interpretation of the interplanetary system by SpaceX. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.